Now to the Antique and Collectibles Show. It's going on at the Portland Expo Center. And that's where Cora Harlan is this morning, checking out some things. Hey, Cora, what do you have this time? Well, Jenny, uh, Ken, there's a new thing out here. It's the uh, Portland Spring Bazaar that they have out here. This is a new part of the show. One admission will get you uh, entrance to both shows. This Portland Spring Bazaar uh, featuring 200 booths with uh, local artists and handcrafted items. I got that all right, didn't I? That is all right. So there's a couple of them here. And, and again, this is uh, sort of like Think Saturday Market on steroids because there is a lot of neat handcrafted items here. And uh, Kathy Colenburn from Greg uh, will be at this booth this weekend, and you have uh, made your uh, hobby uh, making a lot of cool things out of glass. Every one of these things is glass, right? Yes, it is. It's fused glass. How do you get inspired to do some of these things? You've got come in here a second, Carl. Kathy, step out of the way here and let Carl just show folks some of your wares here. Some of these little spoon holders and all that. How, how, how do you take get inspiration to do some of these things? Oh, a lot of it comes from nature, and it's just looking and seeing what. I think would be cool and that people might enjoy. <laughs> that's, good. that's as good a, a, a thing as any. These are plant stakes for, for your garden, I would imagine? Well, you can put them in your house plants also. So if you have a green plant, you can add a little color to it. Or um, if your plants are blooming, you can keep it blooming. <laughs> what is this one down here? Down, Carl, here. What is this? This is kind of like a little retro looking mid, a mid century thing. Candle holder. A candle holder, yeah? Yeah, candle bridge. So you put two or three little uh, tea lights on it and light up your room. And so there's a lot of spoon holders over here. I see Carl move to your uh, to your right over here, and we've got some chops uh, yes, plates sushi, for chopsticks. Sushi plates, sushi, sushi yeah. Plates, right? okay. And then spoon rests or soap dishes, whatever. Pretty much whatever you want to use it for. Your it's left to your imagination. It's really cool. Come here. I want to show you one last thing before we sign out here. Now this is this is really amazing because these are made of molds, of course. But you've got to get this glass hot to melt onto the molds. How hot do you get the glass, and and where do you get the molds? Um, I bought the molds online and um, first you have to fuse the glass together because it's two layers of glass. That goes to about 1450 degrees and then for a second melting you take it to about 1390 and it, it folds over the mold. Be a nice wall hanging somewhere outside. Kathy, thank you for getting up early this morning and joining us here. It's good meeting you. Good meeting and again, this is the Portland Spring Bazaar. Uh, it is a new part of the Antique and Collectibles show. 200 artists, locally handcrafted items all here this weekend. And again, if you, uh, with your admission ticket that you buy, uh, you get access to both the Antique and Collectibles show and the Portland Spring Bazaar here next door. Half a hall in here. And uh, this will be a hall full of, uh, of of cool items and again I'm thinking I'm thinking this is a lot like Saturday market on steroids here mm -hmm. in the friendly confines of the Expo Center here this weekend Jenny and Ken yeah Ken like those like those little flower sticky things that you put in your plant so, yeah, yeah. I, I think that would add a lot those of color cool. to your yeah. home and yeah that that's right. good and they would last forever of mm -hmm. course as long as you don't drop them right Ken I'll pick <laughs> you one up how about that Oh, that's beautiful. That yeah. is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Look good in the condo there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Thanks.